in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of eternity. A sigh might escape the worker as they look upon you with the utmost pity. They will take you down a flight of stairs into what should be the basement of the building. Yet isn't. As you press deeper and deeper into the underbelly of the institution, you will begin to hear a chorus of screams. At first it will be barely audible, as if originating from a point a great distance away. But the closer you get to the end of the hallway, the louder it will become until it drones so loudly that it seems to consume all other noises. Soon the den will become so painful that you will feel the unrelenting urge to claw at your own ears to escape it. It is advisable to resist this impulse, or else it will be impossible to complete your quest. The worker will show you a door, covering both their ears as they do so as swiftly as they can. They will unlock the door and run, leaving you alone in this cramped, dark hallway. This will be your last chance to run if you decide to continue. Open the door, the piercing wail will then end abruptly, leaving your ears ringing. The room you will enter will be coated in an almost tangible, all-consuming darkness that for the far end of the room. There, manacled to the wall, is an emaciated figure. Covered in raw lashes, he will stare directly at you, with a maniacal grin plastered to his face despite festering wounds, and a scalpel still half protruding from his chest. Now will be your only chance to save yourself and the only way is to ask who created them. He will cackle in a manner, defitting the death throes of an animal before responding. His will be the most horrific tale you have ever heard. Beyond such primitive concepts as pain and death, it will delve deep into the very essence of evil. Those of weak mind go mad at the man's story, so remain strong, no matter how fragile your mind may feel. When he finishes, it will be up to you to end this man's life, releasing his terrible burden. Remove the scalpel and he will shudder once in agony before falling silent forever. That scalpel is object three of 538. It is up to you if the rest should be protected or destroyed.